Good day and welcome back to the Friendly Filmmaking YouTube channel. I want to encourage you to join us on the Friendly Filmmaking Facebook group, which is at FriendlyFilmmaking.info, which is right on the end of my finger, as always. Today we're going to be unboxing the... Ugh. This is uh, Cowboy Studios sent this to me. This is the fancier FC. 270A tripod, and uh, we're going to be unboxing that today. It's gigantor in comparison to all of my other tripods. This is my first, what we call pro tripod. Um, all my other tripods are, you know, prosumer. This one here that I'm using right now is a Velbon. It's a really great tripod, but it's not considered a pro tripod, and it's not a fluid head by any stretch of the imagination. This one is a fluid head. So we're going to see what that looks like up close. And you guys get to enjoy the wonderful sound of tape tearing. There we go. I got into that. There we go. Open that up. And big, huge tripod. Never had one of these. Oh! <laughs> of course, it's a box. Inside the box, right? That's just beautiful. Okay, it is a fancier brand and a professional DV support kit. I actually bought this because I need something really heavy duty to go with my Roto rig, the Croto kit, the the uh, Croto Flick uh, mini jib crane, and I just don't have anything heavy duty enough to hold it up. So I bought this just specifically for that. But I also plan on using it on a track dolly because I bought these wonderful little uh, track dolly wheels. And uh, these are actually wardrobe wheels that I got for super cheap, but they do have sealed bearings in them. I'm getting a slightly larger set, and I'm going to put them on a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, so we're going to see what happens with that. And uh, anyway, here is the fancier tripod <laughs> in the box, inside the box. Sorry to let you down. All right. And now we have a bag, a bag inside a box inside a box. Which, by the way, was in a box when it came. The box that's inside the box was also inside another box. It had a shipping label on it and everything. So this is our nice, handsome, uh, it's like a duffel bag that uh, has some rings on it. Rings on top and the bottom here. And uh, I think I got this tripod for like 150 bucks. And uh, to me, for what I'm going to do with it, it'll probably pay for itself the first time out. The inside of this is kind of like a, it's almost like a crushed velvet. It's like a, a definitely a microfiber type fabric. This is real thin, and inside here we have the locking arm for the tripod, and looks as though it has an extension kind of thing on it, which is kind of cool. Let's see if we can, can we tighten it? I've never had one of these. happens well it just keeps going maybe I'm missing something I'm sure I am there we go okay so this has a little locking mechanism on the end of it here let's get a good look at that and this is our little extension thingy which I have yet to figure out you know I get to read the manual all the fancy stuff right 
Let's make sure we're focusing in the right place, right? Boink. There we go. Now, inside, it has like this uh, padding stuff here wrapped around the head. It's like a finger foam kind of stuff. And uh, I kind of like that. I'll probably keep that in there inside of this because the rest of it doesn't really have any thick thick padding in it let me uh get you down here close so you can see so um inside here it doesn't really have any real thick thick padding to it it's it's uh kind of thin about maybe that thick uh but it's nice it'll keep most of the scuffs off it's got these straps here holding that together and inside it, it is shrouded in a giant plastic bag. And this is my first fluid head, so I get to have the fun of figuring that out. I think I can add a second arm onto each one of these. Let's get a look at this on the head. It looks like I can add a second arm. This is not something that anyone really showed me on YouTube so I find that really interesting no one really talked about the possibility of adding another arm you know me not knowing anything ahead of time about uh, fluid heads or you know studio studio uh, tripods or anything but uh, this is you know it appears that I can quickly and easily add a second set or a second arm onto it or I can put this on either side that I like to put it on that's pretty cool so all right so let's get a let's get a look at inside here real quick let's come back to this here it's got a little brochure here user manual uh, probably gonna have to read the heck out of that although yeah install the handle handle install the handle that's what it says right here install the handle fix the handle a on such and such okay we'll come back to that it's got the, <laughs> the super advanced uh, manual all right so it's it, it I will say this kind of smells like a, smells like solvent of some kind of course a lot of this photo gear does smell bad when you first get it all right so you have this uh this is not the rubbery kind of surface on the on the underside of it just nylon on that side and this is more just like a smooth leatherette with stitching little rows of stitching on it it's kind of handsome and um so we got the nice slide this is a pretty nice long strap adjustable strap i'm gonna like that for carrying it uh, this is not a compact tripod though, so probably won't be carrying it, you know, a lot in the mountains. Um, unless I'm shooting stock footage. Well, hey, there's a reason. Okay, so there's the bag and the little uh, buckles here. You can add them onto the top or the bottom part of the bag. I'm going to add it onto the top part here. Appears. Okay, I'm missing something. There we go. It clips in and not down. So it's not like those little key ring type of things. If I can make it so you can see that. It doesn't push down, it pushes in. More like a carabiner. Okay. So we'll put that on there. And it does have a swivel, unlike the camera bag that I just got. Um, buckle the other side on there because I do want that to be accessible and um, that's pretty much the tripod bag it doesn't have any outside pockets it has one inside pocket probably just for the arm just fine and we'll come back to that
Now let's take a look at the tripod real quick. And we've got uh, these kind of unscrewing sort of uh, legs. They're not like your little uh, quick release legs that clip on little flip latches. These are locking screw things and it does not move. These really feel pretty solid. And I um, heard some other reviews about the, uh, there's a, another uh, tripod that was recommended to me. And one of the things that I noticed in the reviews was that the centerpiece on the, uh, on the other one seemed like it was really uh, flimsy. This one does not. This one does not seem flimsy at all. I don't know if you could stand on it, which, by the way, I've seen like the, those guys over at Film Riot stand on theirs. I don't know if I'd stand on this. Of course, I'm a pretty big dude, so I, I don't know if uh, anybody should stand on it, but me especially, probably not. Uh, it's got a little hook here for hooking it onto a dolly or something. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, no one's shown me that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so let's set this thing up. Let's move us back a little bit. We'll get a load of this, right? Okay. So we pull that one out. Pull that one out. I'm just going to set it up like just this high. Okay. Set that one up right there. And pop that down. Yeah, we can make it a little higher, right? Just getting used to this, guys, so please excuse me. That's what unboxings are all about. Revealing all the inner secrets of your new tripod. Here's our fluid head, and it locks Let's go ahead and get our handle out. Set that puppy up. Pretty easy. Me likey. Okay, that was really simple. All right. You can see it's got a nice, slow, fluid head. And then it's got a adjustable counterweight thing that I've got to figure out. There's your quick release. You can push that. It's got a little release button over here. I love this head. This is so smooth. It's got that drag. I understand it doesn't have adjustable drag on it though. So uh, here's your quick release going in. Just pops right in. Does not pop out. And then you can you can lock that down so it won't move forward or back like a slide rail that's pretty cool and then when you want to let it out completely you just push that button in and out it pops it's got this little pin right here so there is our let's go ahead and lock that down all right I like this I like the long tilted arm not a lot a lot nicer than my other other tripods So there, it's just leveling itself out here. It's got a counterweight system in it. Which I have yet to master. I, don't, I, have, I have no clue how I'm, how I'm doing this, so. There we go. So like, if I wanna come back to that, that's pretty neat. I've got like a spot over here. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I can like lock it into this position, lock this little lever down over here, pull this down, and do that slow tilt, just let it go. That's pretty neat. Kind of like that. Self-leveling. Right. And I'm not sure how this one does it. Let's see. Will it do the same thing? No. Just has adjustable drag and lock. Well, it's not really adjustable drag, I wouldn't say. Well, I guess it is. But it's got this nice fluid head. Gotta come to a slow stop. 
Nice. And now it's got this bowl down here too. You can level it out. So you don't have to just adjust the legs to level it out. You just adjust this bowl, get it locked in. Now the head is going to be level. Pretty cool. I love it. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Nitsen for giving a suggestion. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please correct me. But uh, I want to thank him for giving me this suggestion. And uh, uh, really, really top notch tripod. I really kind of like it right now. Haven't put it in any practice yet because I just opened it up. Thanks for watching, and I hope that uh, you enjoy this. I hope that you get something worthwhile out of this video. And we will see you next week on the Friendly Filmmaking YouTube channel. Make sure that you check out the Friendly Filmmaking Facebook group over there on my finger. And uh, subscribe if you want to keep seeing this stuff. Have a great day. Bye-bye.